Welcome back to the channel. This is a very quick uh, tutorial on how to build a custom word search puzzle. Uh, if you are finding this through the YouTube channel, just click on the link in the show notes. It'll send you over to my website where I have the toolbox, which is a couple free little ways to encode messages uh, for any type of treasure hunt that you're building. Um, this is essentially just a, a quick best practices. Here's how this works. Um, way to use the custom word search encoder tool uh, that my friend and colleague, the Keymaker, uh, built for me. So without further ado, this is how this works. So you hop in here, uh, you can choose the dimensions of the word search and how many words. It defaults at eight with 10. That's what I recommend doing. Uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, you understand that elegant simplicity is a huge thing for me. And they're just, you don't need to have like a 40 by 40 with 200 words because that just sucks. That's not fun, don't do that. So stick with this. If you need to go bigger or small, you can, but that's my recommendation. Uh, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is add in your word bank. These are the words that they find. My recommendation is something emotionally significant, especially if this is part of like a marriage proposal or a birthday. I mean, you have the option, why would you not? But for this sake, I'm just gonna use some basic adventure words that I love to use. So once you've got that done, obviously double check to make sure there's no typos or anything like that. I mean, if there is, it kind of doesn't matter because it'll show up and that's all that's fine, but you know what I mean. Uh, then you want to type in your secret message. This is basically the aha moment uh, that tells your players where they're going next. Um, my recommendation is making this super clear. They've already solved the puzzle to get to this answer. There's no reason for them to solve this puzzle to get to another puzzle. Um, I like kind of having an ebb and flow of, of puzzles and then win conditions and back and forth. But it could be a riddle, it could be something like that. But for the sake of ease right here, we'll just do look under the bed. And the puzzle title is whatever you'd like it to be. You know, if it's some type of, if there's a theme to it or anything like that, you know, say you want to do this for your kids on Christmas morning to find their stockings. And it could just be, you know, like your Christmas stockings. Uh, and then you just click make my puzzle. And what you're gonna see is you have the secret message. This was not very well done on the first try. We'll talk about that. And then you have the actual answers to everything. And you have leftover letters. And I don't like this at all. I personally don't like leftover letters. So let's rerun it a couple times. You still see there's a lot of leftover letters. Um, and so what I recommend doing now is you're gonna start tweaking this. So instead of maybe look under the bed, you could say your next instructions are under the bed. You try it again. Okay, and as you can see, uh, we've got a little bit less, right? There's less leftover letters, and you might be okay with just having it be like this. Um, I personally am a perfectionist, and I want to make sure it, it looks and feels perfect. So after re-rolling a couple times, I realize, all right, there's a little bit more, right? And so maybe we could start making the uh, the words that we have a little bit longer. Um, you can keep messing around with secret message. You will find your next instructions under the bed and just getting it a little bit closer. And as you can see now, we're starting to get it to the point where it's uh, there's not too many letters left over. It's still going, even though we reroll it a bunch of times. And so now in this case, it might be a little bit better to, you know, pirate's not the most Christmassy word, but we'll mess around. Okay, now we're getting close. All right, you can see we just have a couple letters left over. And if we keep going, we might find, there we go. Now we have found a complete word search. Personally, I'm not necessarily a huge fan that it's all bunched together, but you can kind of take what you can get. Uh, but in this case, once they solve all of them, they'll see in the letters left over, you will find your next instructions. Uh, what is it? Uh, under the bed. Uh, in that case, you just go print fun friendly view and you go ahead and print this out, set it up, put it in an envelope. And that's all you need. So I hope this is super useful. Once again, it does involve a little bit of trial and error. That's why I made this video, just so it was a little bit easier to understand. 
I hope you like it. I hope it's useful. Uh, if you do want to support me, you can head over to the shop. I have a couple other little printable things. I do have a free set of um, uh, encoding cipher um, images that you could use and print out just for you to use on your hunts. Uh, but until next time, happy building. <laughs>